Welcome to Teach It Wise. In this video, we will be looking at types of variables found in scientific investigations. Let's get started. There are three types of variables we will look at today. Independent, dependent and control variables. Let's get started with independent variables. This is the variable that you would change in an investigation. If appropriate, we can also give the correct units. The second variable is the dependent variable. This is the variable that we will measure in the investigation. And again, if appropriate, we can give the correct units. Let's look at some examples. In this first example, the scientific question being asked is how does the amount of light affect how tall a plant grows? You can always look back at the video on scientific questions if you want some help with how to develop these. In this question, in this investigation, the independent variable, the thing that we are changing is the amount of light. And the dependent variable, the thing that we will measure to see if the amount of light has caused the plant to grow more or less, is therefore how tall the plant will grow. The dependent variable depends on that independent variable. How tall the plant grows depends on the amount of light. Let's look at another example. In this example, the scientific question is, how does the angle of the ramp affect how fast a toy car travels? The independent variable, the thing that we are changing, is the angle of the ramp. And the thing that we are measuring, the dependent variable, is how fast a toy car travels, measured in metres per second. The angle of the ramp is going to cause, hopefully, something about the car's speed. So how fast the toy car travels depends on the angle of the ramp. Let's look at a third example. In this question, we're asking, how does the amount of stirring affect how quickly salt will dissolve? The independent variable, the thing that we're changing, is the amount of stirring. And the dependent variable, the thing that we're measuring, is how quickly the salt will dissolve, measured in seconds. So how quickly the salt will dissolve depends on the amount of stirring. Now let's look at that third variable, the control variables. These are the variables that we keep the same in an experiment. We control them to make the test fair. So we control these variables. We make sure they stay the same to make the test fair. Again, let's look at some examples. So in the first question, how does the amount of light affect how tall a plant grows? Something that we'd like to control and usually for each experiment, we will have multiple control variables. In this one, something we'd like to control would be the temperature of the surroundings. Why should we control it? Well, different temperatures could affect the rate of plant growth, as well as fluctuations in temperature over time. And how will we control it? Well, we'll use a controlled environment in which the temperature stays the same consistently at 22 degrees Celsius. Note how I added in specific details to my how I will keep this the same. Let's have a look at a second example. This was the second question. How does the angle of the ramp affect how fast a toy car travels? So one possible control variable could be the type of toy car. Why should we control that? Well, different shaped cars could be more or less aerodynamic 
and therefore this could affect the speed of the car rather than solely the angle of the ramp. How will we control it? Well, we would just use the same toy car for every single trial, for every single different angle of the ramp and for every single repetition. This would help us ensure that it is the independent variable that we're changing that's causing the measurable effect in the dependent variable. In this final example, how does the amount of stirring affect how quickly salt will dissolve? One possible control variable could be the amount of water. If we use different amounts of water, it will affect the concentration of the salt and that will affect how quickly the salt will dissolve, making the test unfair. How will we control that? Well, for each different amount of stirring, we will ensure that the same amount of water is used every time. For example, 150 millilitres. If we don't do this, then we won't know if it's the amount of water, the amount of stirring, or another control variable that's affecting how quickly the salt will dissolve. And our question wants to investigate only the amount of stirring. This is why we have one independent variable, one dependent variable, and multiple control variables. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.